next guest is having an incredible year. He's starring on a hit TV show and he has a lead role in the first Broadway play to come back since the pandemic. Please welcome Da Vinci. Hey, Oh man, thank you guys for having you're me. You're so cute! <laughs> you're so cute! So cute. Now, oh, you're cool. known by your stage name as Da Vinci. Yes, ma'am. But you actually officially made it your middle name yeah. in 2018. Yeah. Why was that? Uh, I, I, I wasn't born with a middle name. I think in, in my culture, I, I, well, my family, we just, they didn't give me us a middle name. But, uh, is that a middle was... name? No, I don't have a middle name, and we're both Haitian. <laughs> Haitian. Okay, it's well, a Haitian okay. thing. Yeah, so it is a Haitian thing. I don't want to speak for all Haitians, but I was like, <laughs> right. is my side of the island. But, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, and I was doing music, and I, I've been doing like writing music since I was probably like 12, because my brother, one of my brothers, he's like very talented in music. So I was like, you know, I was doing that. Then at like 18, 19, I was like, you know what, let me pursue my dreams. And I started pursuing it, and I started, you know, doing music. And I needed a name, and I was like, you know what? The name Da Vinci, I think that embodies everything that I am, because, you know, Da Vinci was a Renaissance man. Exactly. He wasn't just an artist. He mm -hmm. was a mathematician. He was mm -hmm. a biologist. He was, he was a biotennis. Smart. He, he yeah. was a writer. He, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I don't want to be, because I know in this, this business, they keep you where they met you. So it's right. like, if they meet me as an actor, then it's like, I'm just an actor. But it's like, I had a whole life. I just got in this business. I lived a whole regular life, so I was like, I wanted like a uniform name that kind of like fits this. So I was like, Very you know what? Cool. Da Vinci. Love that it. works. Love now, it. you actually put out a single, Bet On You, in 2020, but then you said you might not put out any music again. What was that about? Yeah. Um, honestly, uh, this situation is one of those situations that um, it was the manager I was dealing with at the time, you know? Mm. I wanted to go one direction, they wanted me to go this direction, and I didn't like the direction I was going because I didn't feel like it was me. Mm -hmm. And the way I got in this business, I take a lot of pride in like just, just my integrity. Like I got in this business off of just a handshake and just being honest, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I hustled, I, I was in the nightlife in New York, and you know, I, but I just hustled my way, made great connections, and I was always myself. Yeah. So whenever I'm being forced to compromise my being, I don't like that. And, and because that was being so pushed and thrust upon yeah. me, yeah. I was like, you know what, I'm like, I, I'm out. And I took everything down and I was like, I'm done. But I still write music on my own terms, but yeah. I don't know if I wanna, you know. And, and honestly, sure, and that, the lifestyle of an artist, that's a lot, man. It's a Traveling lot. a lot. It is and a like, lot. I've, I've been doing that lately and I'm like, I can take it like this level, but it's like, that's, it's a lot. Like mentally, yeah. psychologically, that's just, I don't think it's uh, Cause how old are you? 25, 26. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I respect that. There's a difference between having a passion for the art of music versus the music business. Right. Mm -hmm. Two different things, yeah. yeah. Like, I love storytelling. Like, I love mm -hmm. the art of telling stories. Well, that's why you're doing so well in what you're doing, yeah. Thank right? Thank you so much. And like we said at the top of the show that we're both Haitian, I want to yeah. know, how was it, yes, how was it um, <laughs> we growing <here. laughs> up? Yeah, I see you. <laughs> how was it growing up, you know, with your heritage and being the first you know, Haitian American. Right. It, 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 was, it was tough, you know, and I didn't realize how tough it was until I became an adult. Mm. Like, it's like as a kid, you know, we, we were like Hannah Montana. You know what I'm saying? We was living two different lives in school. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't tell people that, you know, we're first generation Haitians or whatever, because they would look at us like, oh, you're an African booty scratcher, you're this, you're that. So my brother, my oldest brother, like, yo, bro, when you get to school, bro, don't tell no one, like, bro, we got to fit in with these African Americans, da da da. And we blended in so well that mm -hmm. nobody knew that. So I hid who I was for the longest. But it's like, oh. at home, it's, it's Creole, which yeah. is like derived from French. And my grandmother, mm -hmm. she would speak only French and Creole. So it's like, that's it. So that's how I learned. That's how that was my first language. But it's like, that world is so different from the American culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then in public school, it's, some, it's something else. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And public school is a place that, you know, kids are raising other kids. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you're not cool enough, you get picked on. And it's like, as an, I, I guess, it, it, kind of, it made me a great artist, though, because I was forced to deal with different worlds my whole life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it, 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 it helped me, but it definitely, like, it affected me in ways that I see it as an adult, how, like, yeah, it, it yeah, it, it definitely affected me. This is why we always say on this show that there needs to be taught about cultures and different yeah. cultures. Yes. Because they assume that you are African-American right. when you are Haitians. And it's just not 
you know, it's not fair. Right. Yeah. You know, and that's how students and, and, and especially children get lost. But you have found your way in the yes, world. You because have. now you are starring right. in one of the top plays on Broadway, Thoughts of a Colored Man, which was the first play to open up on Broadway um, after the pandemic. How does it yeah. feel to be part of history? And I saw you, by the way, <laughs> excellent. I'm sure. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. And honestly, uh, to, to answer your question, I feel like I wish I could talk to people who made history because I feel like when you're making history, you don't know you're making history. Right. That's so true. I That's just so like true. I'm so involved in the work, and I don't live in my own hype because mm -hmm. it's like my. I can't negate the fact that where I come from, I, I just come from straight struggle and misery. So it's like I see that in my work. So I don't mm. see the hype. I don't see the history. I don't see mm -hmm. the accolades. And growing up Haitian, you know, as a Haitian, we don't understand like this American world, like, mm -hmm. like with like oh Broadway. I didn't know what Broadway was. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. We don't even. No, it, we it's don't. Not, I, so it's like, yeah. such a, like Americans put such a high status on it's a Broadway. Thing. Yeah. Things such, that really so don't true. mean anything. Like, we focus yeah. on the basic needs of survival. That's you know what right. I'm saying? You got food, you That's got a right. place to sleep, you're good. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like four of us in one bed. So it's like we're not <laughs> Broadway in a, in a Tony, you know? But now hearing what everyone is saying, I'm just like, oh, wow. Like, Are you enjoying yourself, though? Yeah, it's 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 a lot of work. It's a lot yeah. of work, but I, I'm enjoying myself, you know, and I'm so happy how Can I happy tell you my to family enjoy, is. Be in the present yeah. and enjoy, enjoy it. it. Enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy it while that. it's happening, okay? Right. Don't get caught up in the past or the present. St try to stay present and enjoy this moment right now because right. this will never come again, Yeah. okay? You're gonna live in this Thank moment, you. but he he that. said it's hard work, and it <laughs> is good. It is hard because work. let me yeah. tell you, he's doing Broadway, yeah. and he's also doing one of the biggest shows of the year, BMF. Yes, I love um, BMF. Which is obviously about a real life drug traffickers, the Black Mafia family, uh, which was run by the brothers Demetrius, Big Meech, Flannery. Is that it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Flannery and Terry Southwest Flannery. Now, Big Meech is actually played by his real life son, Lil Meech. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Y'all hear that? Big, there, there they are. <laughs> Did you feel like you had to do a lot of research, obviously, to be a part of this project? Um, honestly, it, it was the grace of God. Like, I, I did my research, definitely. Yeah. I did my due diligence. But it's like, I was like, I'm just going to play this to the best of my ability. Because mm -hmm. there's just, there's no way I could really get all the information. Because right. these guys would have to, they'll get in trouble if they give me all the information. You know? <laughs> right, exactly. So I, I'm just like, I, I gotta just, it, it was good that I had, I was starting alongside Little Meech, because he was like my personal Google, my personal yeah. you know, source. Oh, I'm like, yo, bro, amazing. is this real, is this not? And I talked to Southwest T a few times and stuff like that. And, and, and it was it was cool, but you know, he they was giving me, you know, little information, but I just took everything that I knew and I grew up in Brooklyn and Jersey. Like yeah. the streets. Is the streets wherever yeah, the street, you go. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. The accent is different, but it's still the streets. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just applied that, and who knew Brooklyn could cross over to Detroit? <laughs> so, it works. So well, all it's I said so is great. Well, Bravo. Go, well, let's take a look at a clip of you and BMF. Exhibits three and four. Do they show you and your brother wearing fur coats and Rolex watches? What does your father do for a living? He works at the Cadillac factory in the hospital. And your mother? She works at Wendy's. And yet, these photographs show you and your brother getting out of a $30,000 car. Isn't it true that you and your brother are both selling crack cocaine? Objection. How he was shot isn't relevant to whether your client acted negligently by screwing up his surgery. Maybe not. But it appears that your client is engaged in one of the most violent professions imaginable. Woo, Da Vinci. Woo. Oh, we are so happy you stopped by to talk <laughs> no, with us. Thank, thank and we will see more and more of you. Yes. Thank you okay. so much. Absolutely. I am so proud of you. Thank you so All episodes much. of BMF are available and streaming on Stars. It is a wonderful show to check out.